Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1199. Hey, if you want to download this workbook file and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we have a great video here. We have some descriptions, and we need to get everything after the last space. So I need six pack here and two dash 14 packs here. Now this trick comes from Pamusco at YouTube. He has amazing videos. Here's the link how to do it. Now I'm going to show you the method I learned from him. I'm also going to show you another method that I learned years ago at the Mr. Excel message board. And we'll kind of compare and contrast. And I'm wondering what you guys think, which one you like best. Now what makes this type of problem so hard is there's no built-in function that can find the position of a last space or any last character. The, the last space here happens to be 10, and the full length of this is 15. Now, there's two different methods, and they're kind of crazy. And it's because, yeah, we, we it's hard to find to get at the position of that last space. Now, here's what we're going to do for this first example. We're going to note that the length is 15. The biggest number that that space could be in ever possible is 15. So we're going to insert for every single space 15 spaces. That means this little bit at the end, if we were going to go from the right 15 characters, we'd always be able to get that little bit with some extra spaces. And then we'll use the trim function to get rid of those extra spaces. All right, so we're going to say equals substitute. Now here's the text comma, the old text. That's what we want to find and substitute. Double quote space, double quote. That means, hey, find the space, comma, and the new text. Now I need 15 spaces here, but down here I need like 28 spaces. So I'm going to use the repeat function. I'm going to say repeat what? Double quote space, double quote, comma, and how many times? Length. What's nice about the length here is, right, here it'll get 15, here it'll get whatever it is, 28. Close parentheses, so that's the number of times. Close parentheses on the repeat. If I were to highlight this and hit F9, it's kind of weird. Oh, double quote, 15 spaces, double quote. So it's going to find single spaces and then put 15 spaces. Control Z. Click close parentheses, Control Enter, you can see, oh yeah, look at that. It did exactly that. Now we can just go, hey, go from the right 15, and it will like go somewhere in there. So it will get that bit with a bunch of extra spaces, F2. So I go right. That's the text. I come to the end, comma, number of characters, L-E-N. Boop. So it will go from the right 15, close parentheses, and there it is. We extracted it with a bunch of extra spaces, F2. So now we give it a haircut, the trim function. Trim function removes all extra spaces except for single spaces between words. Control Enter, double click and send it down. That is amazing. And actually, I kind of like this one because conceptually, it's pretty straightforward. That's the one straight from Pamusco. Now here's how. I learned from the Mr. Excel message board years ago, substitute. And we're going to say, hey, go look here, comma. The old text is a space, comma, and the new text. I'm going to put double quote. And I have to pick some character that's never going to be in any of these. So I'm going to use like exponent and double quote, comma. And the fourth argument is asking for instance, one, two, Three, we want to put it in the third instance. So check this out. What are we going to have to do? I'm going to say, give me the length of this 15th minus the length of substitute, find all the spaces, and put nothing there. So it will be end up being 15 minus, and if we remove the spaces, 15 minus 12 will give us three. So watch this. It's the length of this, close parentheses, minus the length of substitute. Now the substitute, we're going to say, hey, give me this text here, comma. The old text is double quote space, double quote comma, and the new text is nothing, which is double quote, double quote, close parentheses. Now if we were to highlight that and hit F9, you can see, sure enough, it gives us the exact text string over here without the spaces, Control Z. The length will count it. The length right here will give us F9, 12, Control Z, and then 15 minus 
boop, 15 minus 12, F9 is 3. And so we'll insert it right at the third space, Control Z, close parentheses, Control Enter, double click and send it down. And now I can use the search function to find the position of that caret. Click at the beginning, search. The find text is double quote, caret, double quote, comma, within text. There we go. Control ten. Enter. And there's that 10. Now, oh, well, wait a second. There is a way in Excel to find the position of a last space or a last character. So now that we have that, we can use replace. And the old text, there it is, comma. From the old text, what's the starting position? 1. So I type a 1, comma. And the number of characters to go is 10, comma. And now the new text, well, we're going to replace everything from 1 to 10 with double quote, double quote. That's the syntax for nothing in this formula. Close parentheses, for Control Enter, double click, and send it down. Wow, that's a wild one. I guess for me, I was so excited about seeing this formula because this one's a little conceptually tricky. I think this one seems a little bit more straightforward. But I don't know. I just have one set of eyes. What do you guys think? I even counted the functions. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then over here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, all right, thanks to Pamusco and the Mr. Excel message board. We'll see you next video.